Hey you guys, Damon D'Amico here at D'Amico Dance, uh, along with the lovely Allison Carr. And this segment of uh, Tip of the Week is going to be about connection, hand holding 101 and hand connection, and what we find to be the best connection for the dance of West Coast Swing. Um, so we're going to start off with talking about real estate. That's how we talk about it in class all the time, so that's how we're going to talk about it with you today. And talking about from the last bend of the knuckle to the start of the pad of the hand that we want to occupy this space all the time. And it doesn't matter which hand hold we have. I'll turn that over so you can see it a little bit better. But my hand and her hand are the same. And it doesn't matter whether I'm cross hand or whether I'm outside edge hand. I have the normal hand or upside down or any single variation of how we might hold hands from one to the other. And how you girls a lot of times don't realize that you're changing that connection we should all just have the same desire to occupy that same real estate, okay? So if I take her to the other side, one of the most common ways that we'll lose that connection or that piece of real estate is on an underarm turn, one of the first patterns that you've learned. So we do a one, two, and it's very easy for the ladies to allow the man's hand to roll down into the palm of the hand. Actually, many times the ladies are actually causing that by accident, but as the hand goes over, instead of letting it turn over in the same part of the hand, in that same real estate, now you can see that I'm clearly not in her palm and getting to that other side. Now the main thing is, of course, both of, it, both of us having a desire to occupy that spot because if only one of us is working toward doing that, we're going to end up with a funky handhold. But just about anything that we do, whether it's a, an underarm turn or a left side underarm turn, I'm going to roll that over within the same real estate, always keeping my fingers curled in that fashion. If I do a normal fold, I'll do a one-two. I can occupy that same real estate. You can see that as it passes. And I'll do this on the other side as well. I do not need to give up that piece of real estate. Another very common spot where that goes away is on a sugar push. Back in the day, we were doing some crazy things like going from way out here at the end when we had leverage, slipping all the way to the back of the hand at the back of the palm. So there was a whole lot of lost connection in there, going from the fingertips all the way back. Now, because the side of my middle finger is already resting against the start of the pad of her hand, that is a much quicker response time that I'm going to get from her. Her reaction time is going to be much greater going from leverage to compression passing through neutral. Now one of the uh, pat few patterns that we do where this might change, um, just thinking of a couple, if I start off with a normal connection and do a fold, a cross hand fold, like a skater fold, it's automatically going to take me out of this hand hold because it folds around the back of the lady's hand. It takes us actually to what we like to call a bracelet. But once she goes to turn back around, when I slip back down to the hand, she's going to keep her fingers curled. And we both have that same desire once again to get back to that same real estate. So just a little bit of help on your hand connection, which will help you guys feel way more confident in leading all the patterns that you uh, like to lead. And for you ladies out there, that you would do the same. You're like, uh, you always know what the guy wants you to be at all times. Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's D'Amico Dance. Uh, you can find that right there on YouTube. Or, of course, go to our website at D'AmicoDance.com. See you next week.